Students across the state head back into the classrooms. State Patrol is working to check each and every school bus tasked with carrying that precious cargo day yeah. in and day out. It's a painstaking but very important process. Our Phoebe Murray joining us now live from one bus company in DeForest talking about these mandatory bus inspections. Phoebe, tell us how it all goes down. Tim and Gabrielle, it's very fascinating because these school buses are designed to be some of the safest vehicles on the road with each of them being created uh, specifically to adhere to each state's uh, statutes, right? So, but I want to jump right in. We have uh, an instructor with the Wisconsin State Patrol joining us here this morning, Dylan Strasberg. Dylan, kind of walk us through the scene right now of this school bus. So we have a school bus set up here with the red warning lights flashing is how it would normally look when they're picking up a child on the street. So as the car is approaching, they'll see the red warning lights at the top flashing, and it's going to be at the same height in the rear for a vehicle approaching from the rear. And then you have the stop sign on the left side of the school bus with the red lights flashing in the same, same style to alert drivers what's going on. Um, you have a crossing gate that comes out in front like this, and that allows the driver and child enough room so the driver can see them, and then child can get out around in front of the bus and get on safely. So there's a checklist interior and exterior but a lot of the safety begins with those who are sharing the road with these buses yeah absolutely you know we need everyone just to be aware of what's going on you know this week's school starting up again you're going to be seeing more and more school buses in the morning in the afternoon and just you know we just ask you please pay attention to them when you see them so we were talking a little bit earlier about how these buses are made specifically for uh for Wisconsin, right? So walk us through a little bit of um, these these bump rails, guard rails that we're looking at on the side here. Yep, so each school bus has to be made specifically for Wisconsin use or the Wisconsin specs. So it'll have a Wisconsin body number on it. And then that includes different insulation standards because we get some cold winters um, amongst other things. And then the black stripes you see on the side of a school bus are there for a purpose and we call them rub rails and they're to super hard metal so the top one is at about shoulder height the next one's about your knees waist and then the next one's the floor so if there's ever an impact there from a vehicle or something else they maintain the integrity of the side of the school bus which is very fascinating as you touched upon some of the the safest vehicles um, out on the road here. Dylan, Inspector, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it here this morning. And again, this is not something that happens just the month before school starts. As a reminder, these troopers are conducting these inspections year round, about 10,000 across the entire state for the year. But it is a big job because they are protecting our kiddos who are, are, are coming to and from school every day as they get back into their morning routines. Live in DeForest, Phoebe Murray, NBC 15 News. Yeah an important job and many yeah. parents are feeling reassured watching that this morning that bus behind her looking good just saying <laughs> nice and clean yes <laughs> well